which is, of course, the project we're going to talk about principally today. Uh, and that's uh, with respect to the environment and how that fits into our uh, strategy, uh, both in terms of product development and our open mock up so you get a real sense of, uh, of what the passenger experience is. The, the C-Series is a new technology platform designed for the 100 to 150 seat market segment. Uh, this design is being optimized for this space. It's going to be the first platform uh, specifically designed for that market segment uh, since the renewal of the five abreast platforms of the MD-80 and the Fokker. So it really is a, a new aircraft for that space. In the C-Series, we have really three key environmental advantages that uh, are being included in the design of the aircraft. The first one is fuel consumption. Uh, the aircraft will produce 20% less or 20% advantage in fuel consumption over the aircraft of today. Uh, along with that, fuel consumption create, has a direct relationship to the amount of carbon emissions produced in it by aviation fuel. And so a 20% reduction in fuel consumption means a 20% reduction in carbon emissions. That is fundamental to maintaining a sustainable aviation industry in the future. Furthermore, there's two other areas that we're tackling with the design of uh, the aircraft. One is reduction of uh, polluting emissions and in very specifically the nitrous oxides that come from the combustion uh, of the engines. And so the Pratt & Whitney Pure Power engines on the C-Series allow us to reduce NOx, so nitrous oxide emissions, by up to 50 percent. Uh, the last one, which is very important to communities in and around the airports, is the noise produced by the aircraft. And again, the C-Series is being designed to be uh, really a step ahead of any future regulations that, uh, that may come into play for the uh, communities in and around the airports and restricting the noise produced by aircraft. And we'll be creating uh, an aircraft that has a 20% margin to today's standards. Uh, to translate it into terms that are easier to understand, the aircraft will be four times quieter on the ground uh, than, uh, than today's, uh, the, today's standard aircraft. The technology that we are integrating into the C-Series, as you say, is being developed uh, in various areas. Uh, but really what we're doing that's unique is we're the first ones to bring together the use of new materials, the use of this uh, new engine designed by Pratt & Whitney, uh, advanced systems that may have been developed for other aircraft platforms, civilian, in fact even some military platforms, but bringing it to this market segment. We are the first to introduce what we call a new generation of single aisle aircraft. We continue to develop our uh, Q-series and CRJ-series aircraft. These are very fuel-efficient aircraft, but of course we're always looking uh, to ways for continuous improvement. Uh, we believe that there is a place for both turboprop and jet aircraft, and the efficient use of these two platforms uh, really is what, uh, what, what uh, will allow airlines to remain competitive and sustainable, uh, certainly in, uh, in the next decade. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, our strategy is built around uh, continuous development of those platforms. IATA has actually, uh, with the help of uh, the aviation community, developed some very ambitious targets for aviation in the future, including an overall 50% reduction in CO2 emissions by 2050. Now, in order to achieve that, they are, they are relying on three pillars. One is uh, improved air traffic navigation. The other one is exploring the use of uh, biofuels. But uh, the third one, which is where Bombardier has a big part to play, is introduction of new technology aircraft. And so when you take an aircraft like the C-Series and replace uh, the existing fleet in that market segment, replacing that entire fleet with an aircraft of the technology of the C-Series would produce a 32% reduction in CO2 overnight. Now we know it's not going to happen overnight, but we're certainly being, uh, making a big contribution towards reaching those uh, IATA targets of the future.